Hey guys, it's Adam here from F150LEDs.com. Today we have our Ranger here in the shop. We're gonna be showing you how to install our Spartan hood light kits, or ditch lights as they're commonly referred to, on our Ford Ranger. This kit is extremely bright. It has six front-facing Cree LED chips along with three on each side, so it's really gonna increase your field of view as you're driving back roads or anything like that. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the install right now. Sincerely, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We really appreciate it, and we don't want you to miss out on any of the great content for your Ford truck. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, the first thing we need to do for this install is install our bracket onto our bar. So to do that, we're gonna see these two channels here in the back and slide this bracket into those channels like so until you see the channel of the bracket line up with this hole here. So now we're going to take the smaller nuts that come in your hardware and slide that into that channel as well and then run your bolt through the side hole and through the channel in the bracket. Let's take a little finagling. Once you get it through the hole and through the channel in the bracket, as you can see like so, you just want to take your included Allen wrench and start tightening that just hand tight for now. As once we're done with the install, we'll go back and position them the way that we like. And then we'll tighten them down all the way. That way they stay in the position that we like the entire time. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. Slide it through both holes of the bar and the bracket and just get it hand tight. For the sake of time for this video, we went ahead and did the other bar. And now that we've done that, we're ready to mount our mounting brackets to the truck. We're here on the driver's side. And when you're mounting this bracket, you want to make sure the flat part is facing out away from the inside of the truck. So what we're gonna need to do is take a half inch size socket or uh, wrench and then loosen these two bolts. And you only wanna need to, you're only gonna, excuse me, need to loosen them enough to slide your bracket into place. So you don't need to take them off completely. And then we're gonna take our bracket and slide it under the back of the hood and then just line up the two slots and put it into place and then tighten back down our bolts and then we'll be good to go. All right, now that we have the bracket mounted to the truck, we're gonna take the included hardware, slide a washer over your bolt and then put your bolt inside the bracket that we connect to the bar. Can be a little tricky. Now that we've done that, we're gonna slide our bolt through the mounting hole and take a washer and lock washer and put that on from underneath. And once you have your washer and then lock washer on, you can take the included nut and line it up and get it on the bottom of this bolt. This can be a little tricky, so just take your time be patient as you're working here. Once we got a couple threads done, use a 3 8 inch wrench to tighten it down. Now that we have the bar mounted to our mounting bracket, you want to take your wire coming from the back of the bar and run it underneath this little rubber valence here and down into the engine bay of the truck. Now that we have both bars mounted and our wiring ran into the engine bay, we're going to need to connect our wiring harness to the truck's battery. So we're going to take a size 10 millimeter socket and just back off the nut and slide over this terminal ring and then tighten it back down. And then we're going to do the same for the power. Tighten this back down. All right, now that we connected the harness to the battery, 
we're going to take our IP68 connections here and line up the tab on them and then we're going to use our lock collar to just really firmly connect this, make sure it's waterproof. So we're going to go ahead and lock that down all the way. Now that we've done that, we really prefer using our wireless remote and receiver for this kit. So what we're going to do is remove the 3M backing, or excuse me, the protective covering to expose the 3M backing, and then we're going to find a good mounting location. We're going to mount ours right here. What we're going to do is just press down firmly on that for about 15 to 30 seconds, maybe even a minute to really get some good adhesion on there. Then we're going to take the female connection from our wiring harness and connect it to the male connection of our uh, wireless receiver. So we're going to connect it like so. Now all that there's left to do, we want to test our lights before zip tying and just connecting and putting everything back together. We're going to test out our lights. We're going to lower our hood, make sure our lights are working properly with the remote. They are. So now that all there's left to do is go back behind and zip tie our harness so it's not just hanging freely in the engine bay and we're good to go. So that's all there is to installing our Spartan hood light kit on this Ford Ranger. You can check out this kit along with all of our other amazing custom LED products for your Ford truck at F150LEDs.com. We truly appreciate your support and we look forward to seeing you there. Thanks guys.